Hello and welcome. Glad you're here. <laughs> so, finally got a channel started. <laughs> Hello and welcome. We're glad you're here. <laughs> All right, so we've got some. <laughs> you're chopping off my head, bud. No, he's not. He's not. No. <laughs> Hello, we're glad you're here. We've got a few things we're gonna do. I've been a Rover fan since uh, like 2002. I test drove one uh, that was for sale and then wound up buying one uh, later. I traded my Toyota pickup and my Honda Accord for it. That probably wasn't the best decision I made financially, but it was a lot of fun and taught me how to be a good mechanic. <laughs> This here is my 96 Range Rover. They call it the P38. It's a 4.6. That's the engine size in liters. And it's an HSE. Um, this one says SSE, which they made about 250 of. It's uh, built by a company in California named Cameron Concepts. They did it uh, with the approval of Land Rover. And it has a, a rather neat feature that cars nowadays is getting more and more common but back then it wasn't very common um, has a supercharger it's supposed to give it more power it wasn't super fast but it certainly wasn't slow this one it does need a head gasket it has water leaking into the back cylinder on this uh, passenger bank when I bought it it had a bad transmission sprag clutch which means it would not go in drive but it would go if you shifted it manually to low me and my wife actually flew out to Eugene, Oregon, where I bought this. I bought it on eBay, and we uh, drove it home. We drove out to the coast, took a nice drive up the coast, drove along, uh, uh, what's that gorge called? Columbia River Gorge. The Columbia River Gorge, and had a great time. We had two kids at the time. My wife was pregnant with the third one, but it drove us home, no problem. That wasn't a big deal. Um, me and my dad rebuilt the transmission when we got back. And apparently, I did some, we did something wrong because it uh, didn't reverse properly after that. So I drove it for a while and then uh, uh, the last time I got it stuck good and hard, it burned it up pretty good. So I've got a transmission to put in it, so we'll be doing that, getting the head gasket done and uh, get me a wheel and rig. I do have multiple rovers. So I have this rover over here. It's a Range Rover Classic. So this one was built in 95. Um, they started that other, the second generation one in 95 also. Um, these ones started in 1970. They came to America in 1987. What happened? This one, they call it the soft dash. The final year they put the different dash in it. This is the most desired one. I personally like the older ones better with the other dash. Um, this one needs some brake work. It needs a fuel pump and a couple other really dumb things. Oh, I bought it at an impound auction. I actually only gave you $100 for this. And I've spent probably about five on it so far. So I don't have very much money into this, but I've never really driven it. Um, I got it running for a little while and then I wanted to go wheel it and I decided I didn't want to because I didn't want to beat it up. Um, darn it. <laughs> so I want to put this together so we can get this one running. And then, of course, I have uh, my Tesla. If you want any info on that, let me know. We can add that content. And I love mountain biking. So if you want to do, uh, if you want to see any mountain bike content, let me know that. And also, we have, uh, I've been thinking about doing maybe some tours or going to the places that are an attraction here in the area and showing you those, such as Zion National Park or Lava Point, the different areas that people are going and, and getting themselves stuck. So let me know what you'd like to see and thanks for watching.